Hi, boys and girls. This is the writing lesson for Unit 8, Lesson 4, where we're going to be looking at the verb tense and the inappropriate shifts in verb tense that we kind of talked about yesterday. And then we're also going to look at the root words and suffixes for a T-I-O-N and S-I-O-N and how they're used in sentences. And also, we're going to look over and discuss the rubric for our persuasive essay. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to look at is activity 4.4, and that's where we're discussing those verb tense. And so what you're going to do, and we're going to work over, start on the first, or work through the first one together, um, is read these paragraphs and then identify how and what we should change of those inappropriate shifts in the verb tense. For example, on sample number one, it says, most tribes from the plains and neighboring regions were se semi-nomadic. This means they not live in one place all year long. For example, plain tribes usually follow the buffalo and they also go to special camps during the frigid winters. At that time, teepees are built using only buffalo hides and wooden poles, but they could stand up to thunderstorms and blizzards. Tribes of the Great Basin had doomed houses called wigwams, which were cozy and safe in all kinds of weather. So boys and girls, we're going to identify where we need to change those verb tense, okay? So let's look at, again, some of these sentences in sample one. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to look at is where it says, for example, Plains, the second sentence where it says, for example, plain tribes usually follow the buffalo and they also go to the special camps during the frigid winters. So if we're talking about the past, we wouldn't say they also go. We would say they also went. So the first thing here you would type in answers is went. OK, it went from go to went. All righty. Now let's look at and see if there's anywhere else we need to change. So let's read it from the beginning. Most tribes from the plains and neighboring regions were semi-nomadic. Semi, semi this means they did not live in one place all year long. For example, plain tribes usually followed the buffalo and they also went to special camps during the frigid winters. At that time, teepees are built using only buffalo hides and wooden poles, but they could stand up to the thunderstorm and blizzards. Tribes of the Great Basin built doomed homes called houses called wigwams, which were cozy and safe in all kinds of weather. Well, boys and girls, I think it sounds all the verb tense match and they're talking about the past. So I think sample one is perfect. Now we can move on. Now you guys are going to move on to sample two and three and find what verb tense you need to change and then type it here where it says answers. Okay, our next activity is we're going to be talking about those suffixes, which we know are at the end of a word, um, and how they both change the actions into nouns. So T-I-O-N and S-I-O-N both change those actions into nouns. And when you add this suffix, these suffixes to a verb, the new word is now a noun. Okay, for example, divide and division. So divide is a verb. You divide the pieces of candy. Division is a math uh, subject that you learn in your courses, math courses. So let's look at number one. It says, which one are you going to type in? Divide. Which one completes the sentence correctly? Divide or division? The teacher asks us to blank into groups to complete the activity. Do you guys think it's divide or division? She asks us to what? Divide. So for the answer here, you're going to put divide and go ahead and make sure that you kind of underline it because um, I know when you type in there, it might do that. And so now I can know that it is divide and you're going to go ahead and complete the other two. So let's look at number the second one. My brother was learning to cook spaghetti for the first time, so he needed to, some blank about how to do it. Did he need it direct or direction? Did he need a direct, which is a verb, or direction? Guys, he needed direction, right? We need that word for that, um, th that noun form there. So we would put direction and, again, underline it. So the last three you're going to complete by yourself um, independently. 